I'm in. Yeah, when I read it, I was very much, um, very much uh, interested in doing it. It makes you think about those things when, you know, you don't necessarily think about those things any other time. You know, I mean, I haven't, you know, I'm not carrying bottles of Purell with me or nothing, but I might be later. I think there's a certain amount of awareness that this movie will bring about, you know, contagious diseases, viruses, etc. Um, I like the fact that it's just global. It's like it just goes all around the world um, that fast. I mean, that's the thing that appealed to me because it, it, it really sort of demonstrates how much we are interconnected and dependent on one another as we, you know, travel on this ball through, <laughs> through space. <laughs> She's just so wonderful. I mean, she's so gifted, um, and she's so damn good. I mean, you know, it's she seemingly can do anything. So uh, I was really excited to, to get to work with her, and she's funny as well. Yeah. Jennifer is, is like the secret weapon of the movie. Jennifer L.A. is the weapon. She's the secret weapon of the movie. She really is. She's definitely the hero. Dr. Ellis Cheever, who's the head of the CDC, is the guy responsible for trying to figure out, you know, okay, what is this? What isn't it? You know, you go, you go, you go, you go. Come back and tell me what it is, what it isn't. Um, how we grow it, uh, how we vaccinate against it. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to be over here trying to tell people like what it is, what it isn't, uh, how many people we expect are going to die, how many people have died. Uh, what was that? What was it? How many cities it's in? Uh, well, right now it's everywhere. Um, so I've got this, you know, I'm sort of the ring master, but, the, but I have no control over any of the animals in the circus. <laughs> I have no control over any of the acts of the circus that I happen to be the ringmaster of, but I'm the ringmaster, so when everything goes wrong, I'm the guy that they go, oh, you messed up. Oh, it's your head on the chopping block. Okay. So, like that. It's pretty great. I mean, it happens very fast. Um, and, you know, it, you have fun while you're doing it. It's not a chore. It's really kind of a joy. Um, and half of that joy comes from watching him at the computer and seeing how much fun he's having cutting it together and being able to show it to you at the end of the day. For me, like, you know, I don't, I don't relate to it that, that personally, I guess, because I'm, because I'm in it, and I'm sort of, what I, I'm enjoying being on the outside, sort of taking the ride, because look, it's scary, the thought of that this, this kind of thing could happen is scary, and the, it's so scary because it, it's based in fact, it could happen, um, but until something like that looks like it's going to happen, I'm not going to spend any time dwelling on being afraid of it. Now, listen, when they were talking a couple of years back, when they were talking all that SARS nonsense and that H1N1 nonsense, don't think I wasn't scared like everybody else. But just at this moment right now where, where we don't know that there's some pandemic looming, you know, in, in the next coming weeks, I'm cool. I'm fine today. <laughs>